How to create the newest Metacat 2025 USB step by step. Let's go. You're going to need at least a 32 gigabyte flash drive and at least 30 gigs of free space on your local computer. If you have that, you're ready to rock and roll. Head on over to the link in the description for the Metacat download. Click on the download button, which is towards the top. This will take you to the download section. You do need to download the installer for Windows if you're running Windows, of course. This will give you a batch file, which is going to do all of the work for us. You can also download the torrent or the magnet ahead of time, which is basically just going to give you all of the files. But in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do it all from the batch file. Okay, so you see we have the Metacat installer batch file downloaded. The next thing that we do need to do is disable our antivirus temporarily. I'm going to do mine until the next system reboot. I'm using Bitdefender. If you guys are using Windows Defender or any other third-party antivirus, this is a requirement. You must disable the antivirus. All right, now right-click that batch file and run as administrator, and then click on more info if that comes up and just say run anyways. This will take a second and you get a cool little graphical command prompt here. Somebody did a hell of a job putting this together. Um, and then we're just going to follow these instructions together. So this says, wait five seconds, read above, hit any button. So I just clicked enter. And this will start the initial download of those first core files that's needed. So it says they're downloading initial files. And then once that's done, press any key to continue. Again, really cool graphics there, guys. All right, so if you want to read all this, please feel free to do so. Hit enter when you're ready. Okay, toggle drive format, I would leave that to yes. That's basically if you don't have Ventoy on the stick already. Even if you do, I'd recommend just starting fresh. Rest in peace, Nova Spirit Tech. Definitely, man, we miss you. Great guy, great videos. All right, when you're ready, hit install Metacat. This isn't going to wipe your drive yet. Don't worry, we're going to have a couple steps here where we validate the drive and make sure we are, yes, in fact, formatting and overriding the correct drive. Very important step, guys. Be cautious here. You can nuke your hard drive or a secondary hard drive at least. All right, so I have validated that the USB flash drive I have is gonna be drive G. By the way, you need at least a 32 gig drive because there's about 27 gigs of content. So yes, it is the drive G. Important note that, and we're gonna check it again after Ventoy installs because Ventoy can format the drive and sometimes change that drive letter. Okay, it says there, installing to G. If this is correct, just hit enter. If it's wrong, enter the right drive letter now. In our case, it is correct. We could either type G again and be redundant, or we can just hit enter, but you see the message there, you can wipe your hard drive, so be careful. Would you like to use GPT? I would recommend yes. Now, if you're working with some really legacy systems, like hardware that is, you can do MBR and say no to the GPT, but I recommend GPT for everything new. Same thing with Secure Boot you saw there. Uh, unless there's a reason to not support Secure Boot, I would just recommend saying yes to that as well. Okay, now please wait, installing Ventoy. Double check your drive at this step, guys, because like I said, after Ventoy installs, there are cases where it will change that drive letter. So let's just validate that one more time before we go ahead and say yes, wipe out my G drive. Uh, call me paranoid, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and not put the wrong drive letter and have a really long day. Okay, so now we see the drive is called Ventoy and it still retained the letter G, which is great. If it got a different letter, just make sure you put that in there so that we're being um, accurate as far as where we're installing this and what we're formatting. So again, you could type G or you could just hit enter here. So we'll go ahead and follow those instructions and hit enter. And this is gonna do a quick format to creating the file system structures. And there you see format complete and you have a total of 117 usable gigabytes of space. Could not find the zip, uh, 7-zip or the 001 file. This would be if you downloaded the file ahead of time, which just a heads up, guys, will save you some time, but I wanted to do a full demo for you guys. So would you like to download them now? Click yes. I would recommend using the torrent. It's going to be faster than the direct most times. So hit enter, and this will want to run a little standalone executable so that it can get that torrent for you. So click allow. And we're going to give this a whole bunch of time. This is going to take some time. So grab a coffee or whatever beverage you like, and we'll be back. guys so the download portion of this process is completed at this point but we're not out of the woods yet now it's actually going to go through and install 
everything to the flash drive. So again, grab another cup of coffee. Now allow this built-in file checker a few minutes to complete. Congratulations, you have a 2025 Medicat USB. Let's check our work. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use VirtualBox and boot into the USB from there. So I just hit escape to get into the boot menu and then I go down and say boot from USB. I select the correct USB and as you see, boom, we have a beautiful Medicat USB 2025 edition. Just a quick reminder before we move on, make sure you re-enable your antivirus when you're all done. All right. Great work, guys. I hope you followed along and you're able to take advantage of one of the best rescue USBs out there. Very well-rounded. Um, it's great. If you haven't checked it out, I have a video in 2024 just doing a review on it, uh, kind of showcasing a lot of the key tools. But as you can see here, just scrolling through the menus, there's a ton of valuable stuff here. This is why I hand-selected Medicat as one of over 50 bootable images to put on my own brand, bootableusbs.com, the ultimate USB version 2. Speaking of that, guys, if you haven't checked out the shop, there's going to be some new stuff dropping very soon. The rebranding is pretty much complete. I've done a complete overhaul of the website. I think it looks a lot cleaner, a little more modern now. Um, I am finishing up the newest USB, which will be the Ultimate USB version 2.1, including now over 60 bootable images, well-rounded with all the same categories, plus a few more. And I won't go into too much detail, but let's just say we now have AI on a stick or portable artificial intelligence with some local LLM action. Yes, guys, that's right. You can carry AI in your pocket and you don't need an internet connection and it's totally private. That and so much more will be included on the Ultimate USB version 2.1. But as for now, you can pick up one of my six existing sticks on bootableusbs.com and two of those, the Ultimate USB and the Ultimate USB version 2, do include Medicat. And on that note, on the very next video I'm working on right now, I'm going to show you guys how you can install Medicat to a VHD, and then I'll show you how to extract the IMG or the image of that VHD so that you can add it to your Ventoy USB if you want Medicat to be one of many selections like I have on my Ultimate USB. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you haven't seen the shop, check it out. I'm going to put some new stuff on the screen right now. Um, I am working on a 3D printed case, which will at least be a limited time run for the new USB version 2.1. I think this case came out amazing. I've done like 30 prints probably trying to get this thing perfect. It's really awesome. Um, the USB fits right inside of there. I've also done some custom branding as far as labeling. I've rebranded everything from the mailers, thank you cards, labels, again, the website. Put a lot of work into it. I know I haven't posted in a while, but just know, guys, I'm not quitting by any means. I think that's the opposite. I'm doubling down, and I hope you guys like what's coming soon. Do me a favor, please hit that like button if you got any value out of this, whether that was educational, entertainment, any other value, just please like the video. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel out a lot, and it's free for you just to click that mouse. Make sure you subscribe as well, guys, because in that next one, I'm going to show you how to install Medicat to a VHD and then extract the IMG. All right, take care, guys, and have a great day.